For the first time, we are hearing the clearer audio of the camera's original recording, and it captures additional sounds. As David Godfordson reports, a forensic audio expert says there's no doubt that what you hear are gunshots. The new recording is a lot cleaner because it's an exact digital copy of the surveillance camera original. <laughs> Loud bangs ring out in the Chula Vista neighborhood around 10 p.m. on January 7th, the night Maya Miliete went missing. <laughs> the audio still has some background noise, but that can be removed. It's just going to be a matter of plotting through it. It is, it is not like you'd see on TV where somebody pushes a button and it just happens. It's uh, manual, uh, manually going through it bit by bit. Brian Neumeister is CEO of USA Forensic in Phoenix, Arizona. They are gunshots. I don't have a question about that. Uh, they do sound like they're indoors. Uh, at least the first few of them, I haven't analyzed them completely, but it definitely sounds like it's inside a house. The audio expert received the recording over the weekend from an attorney working with the family of Maya Miliete. Just having done some of the gunshots, the way it peaks so quickly, and just the sound of, of a gun after doing 40, 41 years of this, um, it's, it's fairly easy to recognize. It's going to take about a week for Neumeister to fully clean up the audio. I'm going to be able to clarify, get rid of all the the background noise, that sort of thing, and clarify what is there. If there's somebody, like a human voice, I'll be able to spot that quite easily. Even if it's buried, I'll be able to bring it out. News 8 did its own basic noise reduction on the clip and boosted the volume in the portion immediately following the first gunshot. It's hard to tell if the sound is animal or human, but here's what it sounds like. <laughs> After Neumeister cleans it up, it will sound much better. Something like this, I have to clean it up enough that there's no question about what's there. And uh, that is something I do every day. The neighbor who gave us this audio recording wants to be, remain anonymous. Uh, this new digital copy is longer than the one we obtained earlier, and it contains an additional two gunshots, so a total of eight gunshots were fired, or at least recorded by that audio. We've posted the entire recording unedited at CBS8.com. Carlo. And David, there are some differences here. The first recording had six loud bangs. This one has eight. If they're gunshots, what does that tell us about the weapon that was used? Well, uh, a typical revolver would have six shots, but on this longer recording, you can hear six shots, and then there's about a 30-second gap b before you hear the, the last two shots, and so that would be enough time to reload a revolver. Uh, on the other hand, it could have been a se semi-automatic weapon with a clip that holds more than six shots. So we'll have to wait and see as this investigation goes. David Godfordson continuing to follow this story. David, thank you.